Okay, this is going to solve a problem which involves a few things that we've taken before. So this is going to be pulling a wagon with friction. Ooh. It might not even be a wagon. I'm going to actually make it a toboggan. Okay. Last winter I made a toboggan and it's awesome. Okay, so here's a toboggan, right? So put some little children on there, because children love toboggans. They have heads. Just try to tell them they're fluffy, like snowsuits. Heat. Toque on their head. There we go. A little couple, couple little toboggan riders here. But this is like, this is entertainment at its finest, right? Little kids in snowsuits. This guy's going to have one of those, like, this kind of a hat here. He's got a helmet on. He's really giving her. Okay. It is a big toboggan. It's like a six man. Or eight kid. Okay, and then you've got a puller. It's almost always... Almost always Pops doing that. Pops doesn't get to ride while the kids pull. He's just like, yeah, yeah, he's pulling over his shoulder. That's what's happening. He's got his toque on. Okay, awesome. Awesome. There we go. Toboggan. Uh, and I want to put a line here to show an angle. Oh, that's not, I can't see that color. There we go. Okay, so there's the horizontal. I'm going to write a little angle in here. Call that angle theta. I'm going to say this. Okay, so the first thing is the toboggan moves at a constant velocity. All right, so that's, that's um, you know, axiom one. It moves at a constant velocity. Um, the other thing we're going to say is that the mu value, in other words, the coefficient of friction between the bottom of the toboggan and this brown snow they're moving across, is 0 0.2. Okay, so mu is 0 0.2. And the last thing we're going to say is the mass of the toboggan and riders is... Um, now, man, I don't know. 50 kilos, let's say. 50 kilograms. Okay? And the last thing we need to say is the rope is angled at 30 degrees to horizontal. Okay? So this is a 30 degree angle in here. And the last question is, the actual question is, how much tension is in the rope? If you remember, all tension is is just pulling force via the rope, through the rope. So what we want to find is this. Okay, now at first glance, this looks like a problem that we don't know anything about. How are we ever going to solve it? My life is terrible. I give up. You know, I don't know anything. But don't be like that, okay? Because you can start filling in some stuff that you do know. And you can work your way around to getting a solution here. So the first thing that we know, okay, that we're going to need to deal with, is the fact that there is some downward force acting on this, which we call weight or force of gravity. And that's solved as mg. Okay? And in this case, um, we got a 50 kg. And we've got a G value. Let's just use a G of 10. Just because. Okay. So that way we can do some simpler math. Okay. So 500 newtons of downward force. All right. Now, I'm going to write one note. We're going to ignore any lifting done by the rope. Uh, 
in a later course, we will include the fact that this actually is lifting, so the normal force is probably slightly less than it would be for full weight, but we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to say that that's negligible, and we're not going to deal with it. It just makes the problem a little more difficult than I want to deal with right now. So what that also must mean then, is there's a normal force pointing up that is equal to, again, 500 newtons. Okay, sweet. So we do know something. And we also know, because we just learned it, that the force of friction opposing the forward motion in this scenario is equal to mu times the normal force. Okay, And you're given a value for mu, and you've just calculated the normal force as equal to 500 newtons. So we should be able to then calculate the force of friction, which would point directly in this direction, on this toboggan. So let's solve that. FF equals 0 0.2 times 500 newtons. Guys, what's 0 0.2 times 500? What's 20% of 500? So if you're struggling to do that in your head, just go 2 times 500, that's 1,000, then divide it by 10, and you should get 100. So there's 100 newtons of friction opposing the motion. And that points directly in this direction back here. OK, now, we said that this object, this, this toboggan, is traveling at a constant velocity. So what that must mean, then, is that the net forces acting on it must be 0. OK? So if there's a force backwards equal to 100 newtons, but it's moving constantly, there must be a corresponding force forward equal to Stay 100 newtons. 100 newtons. Okay. It is not more than 100 newtons, because if it were more than 100 newtons, what would be happening? There would be acceleration, because there would be a net force. If I made this 120 newtons, there'd be 20 newtons of accelerating force, and the toboggan would speed up. We're saying it's going constantly. So the forward force here along this axis must be 100 newtons. And now we have a trig problem on our hands, right? Because if I look, we have this pulling force here that has two what are called components to it. It has a partial component pulling along, which is what we're interested in. And there's also a lifting component, which we said to ignore for now. We'll deal with that later. So essentially, if the hypotenuse of a triangle that we made has 100 newtons here, or if you want the, um, the cosine of the hypotenuse is 100 newtons, we should be able to figure out what Ft must be with that information. So let's see if we can solve this little triangle. So we've got our tension force here. We've got a 30 degree angle here. We know this to be 100 newtons. How do we solve for this? Um, well, I would say that you would do um, this. OK, but if you don't know how I got that, we know this, the cosine of 30 degrees here is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, right? So essentially what I did was some algebra to come up with this value. So I get 115 newtons for this problem, all right? And that's all there is to one like this. Makes sense, right? That you're going to have to pull a little harder because some of the force you're applying here is not going directly into moving the toboggan forward. If I could like crawl on all fours and pull directly in line, then the amount of tension needed would be lower, right? And if you think about it, if I increase this value more and more and more, no matter how hard I pull it eventually, if I aim this straight up, it's not going to move forward at all. It's just going to move up. Does that make sense? So there it is. Solving for pulling a wagon or a toboggan with some friction.